Faris Mokhtar of Bloomberg. Faris, please state your question. Hi, Ministers. Uh, just two questions. So what would constitute a DOSCON raid? Because based on your current guidelines, closures of workplaces and schools would come under DOSCON raid. So what is your current definition of DOSCON raid then in this unprecedented situation? And how far or how near are you to a lockdown? Because many Singaporeans would effectively see this as a, as a lockdown. Thank you. Uh, and under a DOSCON rain, we will have to expect to see many uncontrollable outbreak and there's widespread uh, community transmission and there's uh, very difficult to continue to do contact tracing and to do containment and uh, quarantine because uh, we will just have to uh, rely purely on uh, uh, safe distancing. So that will be the scenario where you uh, are in DOSCON rain. As I mentioned, today we are not in DOSCON rain because we have not given up on the contact tracing. We have not given up on containment, on quarantine. So we are, in fact, doing the opposite. We are stepping up our capacity in order for us to do contact tracing, to, as, to do as far as possible to ring fence the transmission, to contain it, so as to reduce the number of new cases, the number of unlinked cases gradually. So I think we are not yet uh, in DOSCON rate, and we are quite a distance from DOSCON rate. We have to focus on the immediate tasks of increasing uh, safe distances uh, between uh, among our population and stepping up on our uh, containment efforts through contact tracing and through containment. And it is important for Singaporeans to cooperate with us. Even as we do contact tracing, we will find that sometimes um, uh, our patients are unable to recall their contacts, their uh, history, and sometimes uh, they also are not uh, truthful in some of, not sharing some of the uh, contacts that they may have. This will hamper our efforts in containment and in contact tracing. So I would appeal to Singaporeans to help us share with us openly because this is a matter of a public health interest. So we do want to get down to the uh, 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 bottom of the, all the information as much as we can so that we are effective in our contact tracing. So I seek the cooperation and support of our fellow Singaporeans. If you are one of the contacts that we are tracing, please help us and share with us uh, who are your close contacts so that we can be effective in con contact tracing. Maybe i ask uh, Prof Mark to add on if there's on the uh, issue. Yes, DOSCON uh, uh, reflects our risk assessment in, in, as to what the local situation is like and as what Minister uh, has explained already, uh, we look at the degree of community spread in the country and we also look uh, at our ability to control that spread within the community itself. Uh, so at this time, while there is an increased amount of community spread as opposed to one month ago, uh, it is still a belief that this is a situation that we can potentially control and therefore we are not uh, making any plans at this stage to move into DOSCON red. If we were to consider DOSCON red, it would be in a situation where because of our inability or failure to ring fence, isolate, contain and prevent further community spread, then the thrust of our strategy changes towards uh, some level of mitigation uh, to, in order to make sure that our health system and its resources uh, are sustainable uh, to, in the long haul. Uh, and we are clearly not at that stage just yet. Uh, we will look at a variety of different uh, parameters as we determine what that risk of community spread is. We look at the number of cases as they come on. We study the type of cases, whether or not they are potentially linked to existing clusters or whether they are unlinked. And as further investigations carry out, we look at our success at being able then to establish these links uh, to these clusters. We look at our ability to prevent further spread even within the cluster uh, to ensure therefore that there are no further transmission that occurs after we've made an attempt to ring fence and isolate. So these are some of the measures that we would uh, put in place, some of the factors we look at to assess uh, whether or not our containment strategies are successful and they would also influence us as we assess whether there is a need in the future to move to Doscon Red.